Speaking on the recent Paris attacks, French President Francois Hollande stated that these acts of war were planned in Syria, organized in Belgium, and perpetrated on our soil with French complicity. Like many other terrorist attacks, this was an internationally coordinated effort. And one European country that continuously pops up in these terrorist plots is Belgium. At least three of the suspects of the Paris attacks lived in Belgium, as did several perpetrators of the Charlie Hebdo attacks. And the man behind the felled attempt on the train traveling from Brussels to Paris back in August. So why is Belgium so heavily connected to terrorism? For starters, among all European nations, Belgium is responsible for the highest number of recruits per capita to have left to fight in Syria and Iraq. So there is some weight to the argument that Belgium is a terrorist hotbed. And on a more granular level, reports estimate that from the 500 who left Belgium, more than 100 left from Brussels alone, the majority of whom hail from the small town of Molenbeek. Add to that its reputation for arming terrorists and this impoverished, heavily immigrant town has earned its alias as the jihadi capital of Europe. But how did it come to be this radicalized? Well, some point to Molenbeek's high Islamic presence as a factor, which grew during the mass Moroccan immigration in the 1960s. Consequently, unlike many other towns in Belgium, Molenbeek's mosque outnumbered churches four to one. And there are allegedly many other underground extremist mosques not accounted for that could contribute to the radicalization of young Muslims. One researcher posits that these jihadi Jihadi sentiments could have been exacerbated by the founding of Sharia for Belgium in 2010, which recruited fighters for Syria and was highly active in Molenbeek. But some, like this local councilwoman with Moroccan ancestry, insist that Molenbeek is a victim of media stereotyping, though she does admit that with the lack of work here and other problems, it can happen that someone comes along and leads young men astray. As the second poorest district in Belgium, with a youth unemployment rate at 40%, Molenbeek is likely an attractive choice for jihadi organizations, who often recruit youth under the promises of riches, purpose, and respect. And for those youth intent on leaving to fight in the Middle East, one security official intimated that there was very little authorities could do to stop them. He explained that because most Belgians who join terrorist organizations are third or even fourth generation Belgians, their passports cannot easily be withdrawn. Belgian prisons may also play a role in radicalizing already troubled youth, as was the case in several previous jihadist attacks in Paris, which is why some are calling for institutional reform in Belgium. In a recent interview, Belgium's own Minister for Security and Home Affairs attested to the country's fragmented approach to security. Brussels alone has six different police departments and is split into 19 districts, each run by their own mayor. This leads to communication failures as far as reporting or sharing important information. Molenbeek is just one of the many towns entangled within the system. So it seems that Belgium as a whole has internal structural issues that could be impeding more effective anti-terrorism efforts. Still, it would behoove us all if special attention were placed on Molenbeek with respect to terrorist attacks, because as Belgian Prime Minister Charles Michel put it, I notice that each time there is a link with Molenbeek, this is a gigantic problem one that has recently devastated Paris once again. But why has France's capital become a target for these terrorist groups? Head on over to TestTube News for an analysis on this issue. So we wanted to know, why are terrorists targeting Paris? Well, in their statement taking credit for the attack, ISIS referred to Paris as being the capital of prostitution and vice. But this may be more related to France's cultural distinction from what ISIS and other Islamic extremists consider appropriate. As always, thanks for watching Secret Daily and please subscribe.